All right. Today in our math, we're going to read this story again because today in our math, we're talking about something called ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are first, second, third, fourth, going all the way up. And so this book uses ordinal numbers to tell the story. So it's called 10 Little Rubber Ducks. I bet you remember it from the other day, huh? Chuggity, chuggity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted, bills red and eyes blue. Then they are packed, 10 to a box, and off they go. To be loaded onto a cargo ship, hello, calls the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries, faraway countries. Suddenly a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. After some time, the storm calms down. The 10 little rubber ducks bob in the wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky. Only water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. That means they go in different directions on the water. So here we come to the ordinal numbers. Do you see them? They're gonna be in black. This one is the first. So first is the ordinal number. Little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. What's the ordinal number that's gonna come next? We have first, second, third. The third little rubber duck drifts North, and a polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. So we had first, second, third, fourth. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left and a pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right and a turtle glides past it. So we had first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Next comes seventh and eighth. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up and an octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down and a seagull screeches at it. So we had first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and then tenth. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way and a whale sings to it. And the 10th little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting, it is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The next morning, the 10th little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. So these are real ducks, but ours is a toy duck, right? At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. <laughs> right, because it's a toy. All right. Find your page, it's the next page. Yesterday you did one with your parents or your grown up with a bus and we're gonna work on this one. Lesson 28. Sorry, I dropped the phone. I think everybody likes when I drop the phone though. I've heard that. At least it didn't turn off this time. All right, 
So we've got some bears. They are lined up and here's the door. Maybe they're going to snack or they're going home or they're going to recess or they're going to music class. So we've got our first bear in line. This word says first. Then we have our second bear in line. That word says second. Then this word says third and fourth. These are our ordinal numbers. First, second, third, fourth. So it says color the first teddy bear red. I can do that. I know the first one is the one that is in the front of the line facing the door. Color the second teddy bear blue. Second comes after first. Color the third teddy bear yellow. And color the fourth teddy bear green. And here's some questions I'm just gonna ask you and you can answer them. What color is the second teddy bear? Tell me what color. Good, the second one is blue. Here's the next question. What color is the fourth teddy bear? The fourth one. First, second, third, fourth, he's green. What color is the first teddy bear? That's easy, that one's the first, he's red. And last question, what color is the third teddy bear? First, second, third, yellow. All right. Ooh, we've got to practice some fours by ourselves. That's called independently, independently, when we do something a little bit by ourselves. All right, so we've got to get our pencil ready. We're going to trace a couple first. We go down, slide right, and cut it in two. So we go down, slide right, and cut it in two. Down, slide right, and cut it in two. Down, slide right. We slide right, right on that dotted line, and then we cut it in two. Down, slide right, right on that line, and cut it in two. Down, slide right, 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 and cut it in two. Make sure when you're sliding right, you're trying as best you can to be right on top of that dotted line. Our lines help us write numbers neatly. Down, slide right, and cut it in two. Down, slide right, and cut it in two. Down, slide right, and cut it in two. Nice and straight lines for our fours. This says color four circles. I'm noticing that there's more than four. One, two, three, four, five. There's five, so I'm not coloring all of them. I'm only coloring four of them, right? You can decide which four you want to do. One, two, three, four. Count as you go so you don't do too many. You're gonna have one that is not colored. One that is not colored. 